So, T. Corona Borealis, what's going on? There's a red giant and a white dwarf, and the white dwarf is dead. It's glowing from leftover heat from when it was an authentic star. The sun will die as a white dwarf. When the sun in five billion years sheds all of its outer layers, it will reveal a dense core, a dense core about the size of the earth. That will be a white dwarf that will slowly cool over the eons. But this white dwarf is in a binary orbiting system with the red giants. And red giants like becoming bulbous and they keep expanding and expanding. And there's a balance point, a literal balance point between these two objects where if the expanding gas crosses that balance point, it's a gravitational balance point, then it's no longer gravitationally bound to the red giant and it will fall into the white dwarf. So there's a gas transfer. And this transfer point, as the red giant gets larger and larger, there's what we call a lobe, an envelope of space around it. And it was first described mathematically by a fellow named Roche. So it fills this Roche lobe and the gas crosses over and lands gently on the white dwarf. 